I think the insecurities come from just the expectations of like what you're supposed to look like. Everyone has insecurities, including Olympic athletes. I think because we're in a weight class sport, we're so in tune with our bodies. So if I gain like a couple pounds, I find myself feeling like, oh, I don't think I look as good today, or I don't feel quite as right. So that's kind of been something I've had to overcome growing up in the sport of wrestling, is that I'm not like the number that's on the scale. I've always been the biggest person in wrestling, and so it's like either like I cry in my room every night or I'm just like, no, screw you girls, more to love. <laughs> and so I just have adopted a mindset because it's like, what is the other option to like feel bad about yourself? Like that kind of sucks. You gotta fake it till you make it because I don't think I have a perfect body, but at least I just like, you know, pretend like I do in my mind <laughs> and that makes it easier. I don't think that there's such thing as a perfect or ideal body. I do think that there's such thing as an ideal mindset though. And I think that you have to learn to love who you are. And if you actually pause to reflect on that and look at your body and be like, wow, I've created this through years of hard work. Um, and focus on what you are, not what you're not. That's kind of how you have to combat those insecurities. I think being powerful is like really, Cool, <laughs> sexy, I don't know. Yeah, like, you gotta have some swagger.